UFC welterweight contender Stephen Thompson has been known as one of the most unique strikers to ever step foot inside the octagon. With a background in karate and kickboxing, Thompson's distinct fighting style combines remarkable footwork with lightning fast strikes, enabling him to defeat some of the biggest names in MMA. Wonderboy takes us through some of his most effective techniques in this edition of Signature Series. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! My fighting style is more of a karate style. Perhaps the most talented karate fighter in MMA. A style that most people don't see every day. It's a very odd style to deal with. And he does it as good as anybody alive. First round TKO! How about it? Stephen Thompson's karate, that's as high level as it gets. Most people fight with their hands up, but my hands are down. Hands low, daring you to enter. I fight with my feet really wide. I can switch sides. Constant motion, switching stances. My opponents don't know when I'm coming in. His punches come from angles that you don't see. Us karate guys, we are kicking machines. You should be just as good with your kicks as you are with your hands. So many different variations of strikes this guy throws at you. The karate style is what I grew up doing, so it's a part of me. I'm Steven Thompson, and this is my signature series. My first move, the step off cross. The step off cross is a huge part of my arsenal. It's very tricky and it's super basic, which makes it very effective. In the step off cross, I want to be in what we call a closed stance. His left foot, my left foot. If I'm bouncing, I'm more explosive with my techniques. So the power comes from my legs and my hips. I set it up with a jab. I shuffle in, I close the gap, throwing my jab, and then I step off to the side. As you drop your hands down to see where I went, I'm over here throwing directly at your dome piece. Oh, he got tagged. There are three spots that I aim for. One, the jaw. Two, the temple. And then I also aim for the ear. The ear can put you completely out or makes you really wobbly. It puts you in that position where your opponent can come in and finish you off. He rocked him, Joe. He certainly did. Clements is hurt. Big strikes. In my fight with George Masvidal, that was like a perfect scenario to land this technique. Every time I threw my jab, he threw a jab at the same time. What I did was I got a good distance away from my opponent and I started to throw my jab. As Soon as I started to throw my jab, he threw his jab and that made it all work. I leaned my head off to the side. I stepped with my back foot, hitting him with the right hand. Down he went. Look at that side step to set up that right hand. Next up, the one-two head kick combination. The one-two head kick is one of my favorite combinations, and we ended up calling this combination the money maker because it brings home the money. Nice combination by Thompson. Now the money maker, super simple, super basic. It's the timing that makes it so effective. Throw the jab, setting up the right hand. Now I want to leave my right hand out there to give my right leg time to get towards the target. The power is generated in the hips. You got to have the flexibility in your legs and the hip dexterity to get that leg to come over the shoulder and slightly downward. One of my favorite uses of this combination was in my fight UFC 143 against Dan Stigeon. It was my UFC debut. This guy was throwing the jab, but he was dropping his hand down. He threw the jab, his hand dropped. I decided to throw my jab, my cross, which puts me in good position to throw my roundhouse over the shoulder of my opponent, and he didn't see that coming at all. Oh, just like that. As soon as I hit him with that kick, I knew it was over. Right over the shoulder, he didn't see it coming. Victorious in his UFC debut. Finally, the spinning hook kick. The spinning hook kick is a very important weapon to have in your arsenal because that's a technique that most people don't see coming. Spinning hook kick to the head. But I don't care if your hand's been up, your opponent still feels the power in that spin hook kick. Spinning hook kick, boom. 
I just spin rotating my feet, which helps me get my head around to be able to see my target. Once I get my head around and I can see my target, that's when my back leg heads towards the target. So now I chamber the leg up, I extend the leg out, and at the last minute, I'm gonna rip that heel through my target. It could be anywhere on the head. If you hit him with such force, with a such hard of a weapon like the back of your heel, it's gonna do damage. One of my most memorable fights using this technique is against Jake Ellenberger. What makes this technique so memorable in this fight was because he was making fun of karate before we even fought. And there was nothing more karate than knocking somebody out with a spin hook kick. First round, he ends up dropping me with the right hand. Hey! Thompson trying to recover. And I knew it was time to finish this guy. All I heard was my dad say, spin! My opponent was standing in front of me, putting my target to the right side of his face. I spun, I looked over my back shoulder, I got my head around, and I hit him right in the neck, which dropped him, but it didn't finish him. Oh, Ellenberger goes down! I let Jake Ellenberger back up. I heard my dad say, spin again. So I got my head around, hitting my opponent with the back of my heel in the temple. Down he went. Another spinning attack, another knockdown. Steven Wonderboy Thompson knocks Jake Ellenberger out cold. Adds another highlight to his reel. This guy is a poster boy for all traditional martial artists out there. I'm Steven Thompson, and that was my signature series. That's what I'm talking about.